Here in the Bay Area, Highlands County is leaving nothing to chance ahead of Hurricane Dorian. The area is under a tropical storm watch, and today they opened up shelters. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull is live there this evening. Haley, how busy are those shelters there? Jameson, we've seen more and more families seeking shelters throughout the day. There are about 44 people expected to stay here at this shelter tonight, and we're told 130 people across all four of the open shelters. Right now, there is a voluntary evacuation for people in low-lying areas and mobile and RV homes. County officials tell us they are preparing for wind just in case, but that their main concern is with flooding. They say they've had a really rainy season already, so they're also offering sandbags for families and have handed out around 40,000 of them. We drove through some lower lying areas where we found people boarding up their homes and others concerned about flooding from nearby waterways after seeing the impact during past storms. Last time we left and some trees fell and it was better that we left and then stayed here. That flooded during Irma. Hopefully it stays off the coast. That was a that was a really good thing that it stays off the coast. Now, the county is hoping for the best still, but not dropping their guard. County officials say the emergency operations center is fully active and ready to go. They tell us they want the hurricane to be well north of them before they take a sigh of relief. In Highlands County, Haley Poole, ABC Action News. And a reminder for parents, these are the local school districts that will be closed tomorrow because of Hurricane Dorian. Highlands and Polk are shut down on Wednesday as well. Hillsboro will decide whether to close on Wednesday by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Manatee and Sarasota are planning to have classes both tomorrow and Wednesday.